if we could deliver a carbon neutral paper product to the market that also had a range of other social and environmental attributes to that product, we would be different. And we could maintain and, and, and leverage that difference to actually win more business. And that's what we've seen happen. Our company produces uh, and, and distributes a range of printing products and so multifunction devices, paper products, and also digital documentation services. And we're the leader in managed print services here in Australia. So the company's stance on offsetting has actually changed over, over the period. So back in 2008, 2009, um, we were not going to go down the carbon offset path. And I think that there was a bit of a stigma associated with it, uh, washing away your sins, so to speak, as, as a corporate entity. But I think that's changed recently. Essentially, we found that our, our, some of our products, our paper products in particular, were very carbon intensive. Uh, and we also were getting feedback from our stakeholders, uh, our stakeholder, uh, key stakeholders like our parent in Japan, our customers here in Australia, and also our employees. The climate change and, and carbon emissions were a really key concern for them. We overcame those challenges by recognising there was an opportunity for the business for product differentiation. If we could deliver a carbon neutral paper product to the market that also had a range of other social and environmental attributes to that product, we would be different. And we could maintain and, and, and leverage that difference to actually win more business and that's what we've seen happen. The process involved us actually analysing the footprint of our, of our entire supply chain and looking at our most carbon intensive suppliers and our paper suppliers were definitely very carbon intensive. So the decision um, was quite a mechanical decision. Um, these are our most carbon intensive suppliers. These are a hot spot in our supply chain, if you like. Let's focus on those. Let's focus our resources and efforts on reducing that, that, that huge intensity to make the biggest impact and get best bang for buck for the organisation. I think we are making not only a difference to the environment, but we're also making a difference to the communities that we're investing in. From an environmental perspective, uh, the communities that are doing the work on uh, the reducing carbon in, in their communities um, is an ecological service that is actually external to the conventional economy. So what Fuji Xerox Australia are doing is we're recognising that they're providing a carbon management services to society and we're paying for that. The most noticeable impact on our business uh, directly has been engagement from our staff in the stories associated with our carbon offset projects. We're supporting a range of projects that help uh, Indigenous communities maintain their culture, manage their, their, their natural assets in a sustainable way and also source income from alternative sources which don't detract from the natural environment. And the other benefits uh, associated with this, the carbon offset projects are the financial benefits for the organisation. Uh, sustainable paper actually accounts for over $80 million of revenue for the organisation on an annual basis. I think there's been an overall recognition that, uh, that, that there are limits to what we can do to this earth before the earth uh, uh, feeds back to us and climate change and, and carbon emissions uh, are really the, the, the key aspect of that. And I think that uh, that organisations are actually taking the lead. Governments tend to be um, holding back a little bit, but organisations and businesses actually taking the lead and recognising that this is a risk for their business, but it's also an opportunity. And I think that that's, uh, that's what we're seeing uh, in the market in Australia is that uh, a lot of businesses are just taking the lead and going ahead and doing it alone. I believe that offsetting is a, a path that companies will have to examine quite closely and to determine whether or not this is an opportunity for them. And I think in, in a lot of cases, it actually is.